Princess Beatrice and Eugenie will join their father Prince Andrew at Balmoral Castle after King Charles offered an olive branch to the Duke of York by inviting him for summer vacations. King Charles has also invited Sarah Ferguson. According to a report by Adelaide Today, Prince Andrew and Sarah are believed to be joined by their daughters, Beatrice and Eugenie, and plan to stay the week. The royal sisters will also join the family at Balmoral Castle once again to honour the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's passing. Earlier, there were reports King Charles has invited Andrew to join him and Camilla at Balmoral in northern Scotland for family vacations. The insider told Express Daily, Premier, the King and Andrew are now on much better terms and making him the first member of the family to join him as an olive branch. The publication, citing sources, reported Princess Beatrice and Eugenie Father is said to be the first family member to join the king at the Highlands Castle. King Charles and Camilla have arrived at Balmoral Castle. The king received an official welcome from Balaclava Company as he arrived at Balmoral Castle on Monday. King Charles has invited Prince Andrew to Balmoral as a way to extend an olive branch in their relationship, it has been reported. The Duke of York is said to be the first family member to join the King at the Highlands Castle with insiders saying this is a significant move towards their improving relationship. The king was joined by his brother and his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, who is recovering from a breast cancer operation, it was reported. The meet-up comes after Andrew has managed to stay at the seven-bedroom Royal Lodge in Windsor, despite his older brother's attempts to have him move to Frogmore Cottage, which is now vacant after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle vacated it. The meet-up comes after Andrew has managed to stay at the seven-bedroom Royal Lodge in Windsor, despite his older brother's attempts to have him move to Frogmore Cottage, which is now vacant after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle vacated it. They are said to be staying at the seven-bedroom Craigowen Lodge on the estate and could be joined later by their daughters Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie and their families. It comes nearly a year after the Queen died at the estate. An insider at the castle told the Daily Express, it's not a snub to be staying at the lodge rather than the main house. It is delightful and the Duke and Duchess can relax totally. It's only a mile to the big house where family dinners and get-togethers will take place. The King and Andrew are now on much better terms and making him the first member of the family to join him as an olive branch. Insiders say it is unlikely Andrew will return to royal duties in the foreseeable future. Charles will be arriving at Balmoral today with Queen Camilla. He will be joined by the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh who will use the garden cottage, loved by Queen Victoria. It is thought the Princess Royal and her husband Sir Tim Lawrence will also attend and the Prince and Princess of Wales are due with their children later.
Insiders have stressed this isn't a summit but a proper relaxing holiday. A source told the paper, everyone is looking forward to a relaxing holiday, not a working conference. The king wants to spend quality time with his grandchildren. He and William do talk of course, but they have pretty much agreed on the way forward for some time. It comes after Palace aides told the Sunday Times that Charles has no desire for his brother, to come out of the freezer, after the late Queen Elizabeth II stripped her second-born son of his military titles and royal patronages during the civil suit for sexual assault allegations. Andrew, 63, stepped down as a working royal after his car crash BBC Newsnight interview in November 2019 in which he denied regretting his relationship with billionaire pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. A reduction in his annual grant has raised questions as to how he will afford the upkeep at Royal Lodge in the coming years. But this doesn't seem to have deterred him. A royal source told the paper, Andrew is more of a long-term problem than Harry and Meghan. It feels like more stuff is going to come out on Epstein and there are still unexploded bombs there. Prince Andrew agreed to a multi-million pound settlement to sexual abuse accuser Virginia Jufri to dismiss her lawsuit against him in March 2022. The prince, who is eighth in line to the throne, strongly denied any wrongdoing. 